Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this huge and beautiful sunflower 3D. This is how it looks like from the back. This is 10 inch by 10. You can use it as cushion for your chair, as a um, sofa, pillow, or you can crochet a tote bag, um, afghan, anything you like. I used Vienna's Choice yarn. We're going to need three colors, brown, orange, and green. And this is crochet size eye hook. Let's begin. Make a magic circle. Chain three to begin. One, two, three, two double crochet in the ring. One, two, pull a loop, find a third chain from the beginning, grab a loop. Put on your hook and pull. There's your first popcorn stitch. Chain two, three double crochet in the ring, one, two, three, pull a loop. Find first double crochet, so insert, so there's your first double crochet, then take a loop, insert on your hook, and pull it to the front. Chain two, three double crochet, one, two, three. So find your first double crochet. See, there's a chain on the top. Insert your hook, grab a loop. and there we go so we made three popcorn stitches made three more i finished my first round so i made one two three four five six popcorn stitches so you can close your magic ring don't forget your last chain two and join there's your first popcorn stitch so on the top of that popcorn stitch so see there is a chains on above each popcorn so you need to join to that stitch you just gotta find it. It's a little bit hard to find in your first popcorn. Join. Chain three. 
and two double crochet in the same space one two pull a loop find your first chain three find your third chain insert grab a loop and there you go there's your loop chain two next popcorn stitch we're gonna make in chain two space so three double crochet one two three pull a loop find your first double crochet so there's your first double crochet you see there is this on top of um, first double crochet take a loop and go through chain two next popcorn stitch you're gonna make on the top of the next popcorn so see there's a chain there is a space that you're gonna make your popcorn then chain two and next popcorn you're gonna make in chain two space i'm gonna show this again so make third popcorn on the top of the previous row popcorn one two three first double crochet take a loop and pull it out there you go chain two next popcorn make in chain two space one double crochet second and third so find your first double crochet there it is so on the top of the first double crochet pick up a loop with your hook and take it out and don't forget the chain two between two of the popcorn so continue all the way around row two i almost finished my second round i have a last popcorn to do in chain two three double crochets one two three don't forget your chain two and then join on top of the first popcorn there should be a chain space see on each of the popcorns there's a chain so join run three one two three chains two double crochet in the same space one two pull up a loop find your chain three space from the bottom count third chain insert a hook grab a loop pull it out chain two make a popcorn in chain two space so one two three double crochets find your first double crochet take a loop and pull it out continue all the way around i finished my row 
so you should have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24 popcorn stitches in this round so i'm gonna finish my third uh my 24th popcorn stitch three double crochets in chain two space don't forget your last chain two join in the top of the first popcorn you can cut your yarn we're gonna use next color there you go that's how it looks like that's from the back so join in any chain two space so there's my chain two join new color um, single crochet and another single crochet so in chain two space make two single crochet in the next chain two space make one single crochet chain six one two three four five six and second single crochet in the same space in the next chain two space make two single crochets In the next chain two space make one single crochet chain six one two three four five six and single crochet in the same space continue all the way around making two single crochet in the chain two space next chain two space single crochet chain two single crochet I almost finished my round I'm gonna show you this again in the last chain two space make a single crochet chain six one two three four five six and in the same chain two space make a single crochet join in the first single crochet let it go how it, that's how it looks like you should have these loops of chain two i mean of chain six you have you should have 12 of those So there you go, 12 of chain 6 loops. Next round. Single crochet in the next single crochet. Then in the chain 6 space five double crochets so one two three four five chain two and five more double crochet in the same chain six space one two three four five 
remember we did two single crochet in the previous row so skip first single crochet and make a single crochet in the second so make a single crochet this is how it should look like I'm gonna show you this again in chain two in chain six loop make five double crochet one two three four five chain two and in the same chain six space make five more double crochet one two three four five make a single crochet skip the first single crochet make a single crochet in the second single crochet from previous row this is how it should looks like continue all the way around in chain six space make five double crochet chain two five double crochet then skip first single crochet and single crochet in the second single crochet I finished my row this is how it should look like then slip stitch in the first single crochet now we're gonna work next round in those single crochets from the back see each petal has a single crochet on each side so this petal on the bottom see there is single crochet and here let it go you can see it there's your single crochet so take your hook go from behind so see there is your single crochets this one take your single crochet and slip stitch this is how it looks like from behind so slip stitch chain three one two three this will count as the first double crochet chain three more one two three yarn over remember i show you this single crochet so at this petal on the other side there is single crochet we're gonna insert hook yarn over from the back so there is your single crochet and make a double crochet this is how it looks like from the back so make double crochet ready go this is how it should look like I'm gonna show you on this petal we crochet in those single crochets 
so from the back so that's how we're gonna do it so insert your hook and grab your single crochet this is how it should look like see chain six one two three four five six and join in those two loops there's your triangle and there are two loops on the bottom join and this is how it should look like yarn over go to your next petal insert your hook from the back there's your back into single crochet see this single crochet grab that single crochet from the back yarn over and pull through and make a double crochet there you go chain three one two three yarn over go to the next end of the petal insert your hook in the single crochet there is your single crochet grab that single crochet yarn over pull a loop through yarn over pull through two loops and pull two through loops this is how it should look like chain six two three four five six and again insert your hook in the bottom two loops here they are so you got your two loops and take a yarn go through two loops and go through loop on your hook so there's your picot yarn over and make double crochet in the beginning of the next petal so there you go take your hook insert in the single crochet take your single crochet this is how it looks like from the back yarn over pull it through oops let's do this again yarn over take your single crochet yarn over insert so you have three loops pull through two you have two left pull two through two so this is your front of your sunflower and we crocheted in the back this is how it looks like in the back there is your two double crochet and chain six this is chain three chain six and two double crochet if you go and put like this this chain six space should be between two petals so one chain two space second chain two space and there is your two double crochet on the back and chain three space should be right behind this petal so 
another one chain to three space continue all the way around now you're gonna make chain three space then insert your hook in the single crochet to make a double crochet then you chain six and join in the two bottom loops and make double crochet in the beginning of the next petal in this single crochet I am at the end I'm gonna show you how it should looks like on the back of your sunflower that's what you should do see that's how it should looks like this is chain three space and i made a double crochet in a single crochet at the end of the petal then i made chain six and joined in the bottom now when we started we made chain six so slip stitch in that chain six and make a single crochet to begin next row there's your first chain six space make six double crochets in the chain six space one two three four five six so this is how it should like looks like chain two and in the same chain six space make six more double crochets one two three four five oops five six find your chain three space and make a single crochet next chain six space there it is make six single crochets one two three four five six chain two and six more double crochet in chain six space one two three four five six and find your chain three space make a single crochet so this is how it looks like continue all the way around making six double crochets in chain six space 
chain two, six double crochets and find your chain three space, single crochet. I almost finished my row. This is how it should look like. This is some behind. Next round. We need to slip stitch in the chain three space. So there is our chain three space. So go from behind. This is chain three. Take that from the back and slip stitch. Now we need to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over. So there is our petal. So look on the other side. So there's the other side. Find that chain three space. So this is our two double crochets. So this is our chain three space. This is it. So from behind, see this is chain three space at the end of the side. So grab the chain three. and make a double crochet in the chain three so this is how it should look like chain six one two three four five six and join in those two loops right there Go through all loops, yarn over, make a double crochet in chain three space. So here is your next petal and yarn over, go from the back. So see, this is your chain three. So two double crochet on this side and two double crochet on this side. So this is your chain three space right there. Make a double crochet in that space. So this is how it looks like from the back. So you have three loops on your hook. So make a double crochet, there you go. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over. So find the end of this petal and find chain three space. There is my chain three space. So two double crochets, and on the left, there is my chain space double crochet in the chain three chain six one two three four five six and join in those two loops on the bottom so go all from then chain four, one, two, three, four. Yarn over. Find your next petal. 
and find your chain three so there is your two double crochet so on the right chain three so grab the chain three yarn through so you have three loops on your hook go over two and two oops i made a mistake if you make this mistake just pull everything off except this when we join chain six so grab that loop this is very common mistake when you crochet in the sunflower so i'm going to show you how to fix it so there's chain six and we join in the bottom so yarn over find your next chain three so this is your next petal there's chain three make a double crochet in that chain three space and this is how it should looks like all of them should be the same so chain four one two three four yarn over so you need to find end of this petal and there is your chain three space grab it yarn through yarn through two loops yarn through two loops this is how it should look like chain six one two three four five six and join in the bottom two loops go all through loops this is how it looks like and yarn over double crochet in the beginning of the next petal so there is my chain three so continue all the way around it's the same um as we did in here except we're gonna chain four between see it looks familiar so there's our chain six spaces in this row we did chain three in this row we're, go we're going to do chain four continue all the way around so i almost finished my round this is how it should look like so i chain four yarn over find my chain three space make a double crochet chain six one two three four five six join into those two stitches on the bottom remember we chain seven when we begin so slip stitch and make a single crochet next row find chain six space and make in that space seven double crochets one two 
three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain two. In the same space, make seven more double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Find your chain four space and single crochet in chain four. Seven double crochet in the next chain six space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chain two. Seven more double crochet in the same chain six space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet in the next chain to chain four space and continue all the way around. So this is our third row of petals. This is how it looks like. Continue all the way around. In chain six space make seven double crochet chain two seven double crochet and in chain four space make single crochet I finished my row this is how it looks like then join now you can cut your second color there you go this is from the back that's from the front and now we're gonna use our third color so you can join in any petal so there is there are my two petals so this is chain four there is my chain four from the back when this petal beginning grab your chain four join your third collar Chain three, two, three, then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, yarn over, and look at the end of your same petal. There is this chain four, 
so go from the back grab and make a double crochet so make a double crochet so this is how it should look like then we're gonna crochet a pico so chain seven one two three four five six seven and join in those two stitches yarn over make a double crochet in the next in the beginning of the next petal so there is my chain four double crochet chain five one two three four five so find end of your petal and from the back there is your chain four make a double crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven and join find your next petal beginning yarn over there is your chain four at the beginning of the next petal double crochet and continue all the way around now you're gonna chain five and find end of your next petal find your chain four from the back make a double crochet then chain seven and join at the bottom and find your okay now uh, continue all the way around now you're gonna chain five and find your chain four join with double crochet from the back then you're gonna make a pico seven st stitches like this and join at the bottom then you're gonna find your next petal the beginning and make a double crochet in chain four and continue all the way around i almost finished that's how it should looks like this is my pico chain five one two three four five yarn over find end of your petal from the back one double crochet chain seven one two three four five six seven and join so 
so this is where we begin so slip stitch chain one single crochet this is how it should look like so those chain seven spaces should be between petals this is how it should look like make another single crochet in the same chain there is my loop with seven chains a double crochet in that loop one two three four five six seven eight now we're gonna make a pico so chain four one two three four join in those two stitches at the bottom and eight more double crochet one two three four five six seven eight so find your chain space and make a single crochet In another chain space, a double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain four, one, two, three, four join in those two loops on the bottom eight more double crochet in the same chain one two three four five six seven eight and find your chain and join with the single crochet continue all the way around you can straighten and out this is how it should look like I finished my 3D sunflower this is how it looks like from the back straight everything out wave in your ends and from the front straight everything out to make it even nicer you can um, put in the cold water then do like this so all water come out and lay on the horizontal so like this maybe on the table straight everything out and let it dry completely and then it's gonna be nice dry and even and beautiful all stitches gonna 
look very beautiful so i made two of those you can make a pillow or i'm gonna make an afghan i bet it's gonna be very very beautiful thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel if you like my tutorials thank you for watching bye bye